I'm sure every one of us is trying to save more money so that when the borders are reopened, we can go travel. Have you ever asked yourself this question? Without exposing ourselves to too much risk, is there somewhere where we can put our money in which allows us to earn a higher interest rate than what the bank is offering? I'm sure some people will experience this that although we would like to save some money, but somewhere down the road we will end up spending that money instead. I find a solution to this. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to share with you all this interesting topic how i manage my money at the age of 25. i follow the bucket system generally bucket system means you allocate your money into four categories firstly emergency fund second it's those short term to medium term category which range from 15 to 20 years, I categorize them as short term to middle term and longer term that's those above 20 years such as some retirement fund and some insurance education fund and lastly the fourth one is for tax purpose these four are the most four common buckets for those people who follow this bucket system of course, there are actually some other people who have created more buckets so that you can have some extra money for other purposes. And why I find this bucket system works is that because when I get my money salary, the first thing is that I will straight away apportion a certain amount from my salary to these four categories. So it's not that I save only after I spend my money. It prevents you from overspending. So when it comes to the first bucket and the second bucket, we normally save our money in the bank, earning the minimum base interest rate. The amount of interest I've earned by just saving my money in normal bank saving accounts, it just gives me the interest rate of about 0.5% per annum. That's not even 1%. If I keep saving my money in the bank, I won't be able to beat the inflation. So when we look at the April inflation rate, it was just about 1.6%. And when it came to May, it has gone up 2.1%. So it means that the prices on average is actually 2.1% higher as compared to previous year. Instead of putting all my money in the normal bank saving account, I actually do allocate a portion of my money for those emergency fund and short to medium fund into these two platforms. First one, it's the Stash Away Simple. Second one is the P2P lending platform, which is Funding Societies. Stash Away is actually a platform which allows some investors to diversify their portfolio into ETFs outside of Malaysia. So in Singapore, Stash Away is actually regulated by the Monetary Authority of Singapore, MAS, while in Malaysia, it's regulated by Securities Health Commission. It offers three portfolio. One is for general investing. Second one is for gold-based investing. Third, it's income portfolio. But the one that I'm using here is actually Stash Away Simple. The projected interest rate is about 1.2%. It's still quite low, but given its low risk profile, it's something which I like. 
as compared to just putting my money in the normal bank saving account. There's no fee charged on withdrawal and there's no exit fee or no entry fee charge. There's no minimum deposit required for this stash away simple. And there are a lot of YouTube videos out there and a lot of blogs which talk about this stash away platform. So today let me demonstrate you how easy to set up a, an account with Stash Away Simple. The only thing is that it requires one or two days for your deposited amount to be reflected in this platform. Other than that, it's quite easy. So I'm using the Singapore Stash Away. So it's where you set your password, set up your email address. After that, you will see this page and this is what I mentioned just now. They will ask you for your objectives of investing. Are you investing for general investing, goal-based investing or even income portfolio? And for mine, my objective is to manage my cash. So I'm using this stash money simple. And from here, there are more details about this stash away simple. And here comes the part of the choice of your risk preference. Actually, if you watch the YouTube video link in my description box below, you will notice that there are actually some arguments about risk criteria set. Hope you like my video today and remember to click the like button and subscribe button so that when I come up with more videos in the future, one to know it.